Esther, C's, right? So A, B's, and C's. I'll repeat it because you just started. So you have a bucket for consultants. You're recording just now, right? I am. Okay, sorry. Let me do this. All right. So as a leader, we have to have structures and systems for the buckets we serve. And I'm just going to make it easy to say there's two buckets. There's a client bucket and a leader bucket if you're a district manager and above. The other third bucket, because this is, again, for managers, is, of course, your clients. Not necessarily for you, Vicki, but with your leaders. It's the same thing. So clients bucket, consultant bucket, leader bucket. Mm -hmm. In each bucket, there's three types of people, okay? So based on what they want and their activity. In the consultant bucket, there are A's, B's, and C's. A's are accelerators. B's are builders. C's are content. So what does that mean? An A of a consultant is a new QNC. No new consultant should ever leave welcome to Jaffra nor those packs on the table. Our job as a leader is to help them. Everybody will say when they start, mm, I just want to buy product. We all did. But there were six royal jellies in my box or four, and I had to pay Jaffra if I didn't do four parties. And once I did it, OMG. There were free gifts from my manager for activities. Here I am today. We all have something that we said we weren't going to do. Didn't quite see it. I didn't join for a business, period. I never wanted to sell. Most people don't. Today, the market shifted a bit. People need money. But our number one priority is every QNC becomes a VIP. And if they want more, they start with four. Get your rhythm. Get your rhyme. So the new consultants, the VIPs, and the potential leaders are your A's. Those consultants need you every week. You're checking reports every week, tracking them to success. You're making sure they've got their plan to stay VIP or add to their team or earn their welcome to Jaffra. So postcards for welcome to Jaffra that Lori does, postcards for VIP that, that Lori does, or a badge that you're, if you're a texter or a poster to them. Um, so again, those are your top priority. You need a time every single week, be it in groups, in coaching time, be it in recognition and calls or, or mailings, but every week it's a different place. That's your number one priority. The B is a B is someone who's active, and the goal of the Bs is to make sure they stay 50% so that they're ordering every other month versus once every four months. Most of them would, they just don't know the products. Using Jaffra with 300 retail every other month is a normal household minimum. If you think of skincare, if you've got one, two, or three regimens going on in the house, a husband and a wife, every 90 days, they should be 50%. So that is the goal of the bees. You don't need to work with them super strong. You check in, you make sure they've got the, the flyer like I made yesterday with all the offers, follow up. Oh, you didn't get your order in this month. So the goal is to get them to an A VIP, but they may be just perfectly happy loving 50%. So we just watch them to keep them in that 50%. The Cs, those are the inactives and your former consultants. It's a monthly check-in. Is it their time to come back and shop and save? You keep them aware of the offers, opportunities, and maybe once a quarter have their needs changed where they want to save more or make any money. That's it. Every season, there's a reason. People's lives change every 90 days. The world changes every 90 days. So we check in every season with the reason, just checking in, how's your purchasing with Jaffa going and all the benefits, anything you need. So you shop smarter, even getting the hostess benefits, any opportunity for you or anyone you know who needs to take this business and add income. That's all you do. 
So you just do a quick check-in, but they know you do it because it's a system. You can't treat a C person like an A person, you will be annoying. So we have to have the newsletter for everyone. A weekly team time only is for the A's. We're not convincing a B or a C because they don't want it. If they don't want to make money, then we don't annoy them and keep inviting them to everything. You can ask them, do you want to be invited? It's like a service checklist. I provide training. Would you like any? I provide coaching. Would you like any? I provide a newsletter and reminder calls for the specials. Are you okay receiving those? That's really just your service department. Okay. I'd like to interject right here. <clears throat> On my newsletter, I've been considering, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not very happy with the, um, the newsletter going out by email because of what we discussed last week, that 11% of people are reading email, that it's the old way. So I want to talk to Lori about sending that newsletter. I got I got to work on everybody getting a text instead. Text is going to be much more reachable. So I've got to go through that list. Now that my list is more maintainable, I've got to go in and and do a um, I don't know. We're going to talk to Lori about it. How That's to a good that topic. Look at what Wileen just did. She made a link on Canva. So you send that link. If you go back in our scroll last weekend, Wileen just went through this. Took her a lot of time to figure it out, but now she's got it. So what she did is she had a link. She made it on Canva and she had a copy and paste link. I clicked on it and was able to do it mobily. Hers was really big and it wasn't super easy to scroll. Yours, I know what yours looks like. It would work um, far better. She had like 16 slides. They were power packed. Um, they were beautiful. It's beautiful, but it was a little too much for my mobile to pick up on. Okay. I'm going to give you another strategy and you decide it's up to you, but I it's have done like this. I'm, I'm spending all that money on that newsletter and very few people. I had uh, somebody that uh, won the $100 uh, thing and they never even contacted me for the $100 because they never read the yeah. newsletter here's here's a it's a good point but let me tell you a way to drive it okay? okay this is what i do with leaders okay so i can tell you vicky i have tracked the open rate for 20 years i've been doing this for 20 years yeah and it does work okay I've, or i i would change it what i can tell you is when you send an e email that's important or urgent do a text tree and a phone tree. Notice what I do with you guys. I'm like, please, please open your email today. Your newsletter is in the email today. You need to do a charge to go to the email and open it. It goes from a 15% rate to 75%. I have the largest region opening email because I do that. Okay. Okay. But I don't do it consistently, but I know that jacks the numbers up to open rates. So that is one way that you can do that. Um, and, and again, the other thing that Lori can do, she knows how to do, do this. You can make a Google Doc, take your newsletter, put it into a Google Doc and make a bit.ly code. You know, like how registering for Jaffa University, right, is a bit.ly? Yeah. You can make it permanent like I do. Everybody always registers at the same link. So it could be, um, sorry, my brain's blank. What's the name of your, your district? Islander. Thank but you. Yeah. So, Islander, yeah. yes. But so, I don't use it anymore. Oh, that's okay. So you could say um, Vicky's newsletter. Yeah. That, whatever you it think is. they are. So you could do a bit.ly code that never changes. So when you upload the new newsletter in Google Doc or some other document form, even if it's Canva, you use that same code. Yeah. So it's like bit.ly slash Vicky's newsletter. Done. Okay. So that's another concept. So it's a copy and paste link. I can right? send it by text. Easy. And you can put in your text. So they have a choice if they go to their email or 
if they go to your bit.ly. And then you're not annoying to those people who hate email or don't have it, right? Or I mean, don't have half, it, yeah. That's half the challenge. And that is why, and yet another half doesn't have texting. Remember, you we got this crazy world of everybody doing what they want and saying what they don't want to do. So unfortunately, that's why there's so many layers of communication. It's why I got messenger. Correct. We'll do messenger. Well, and as you're building your VIP group, same thing. Again, there's a link, but they get used to the link. So if you have this pattern that typically the 15th of the month, you have your newsletter out or the fifth of the month, you start to create the pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they can join you live when you go through the newsletter and do recognition. I would bring the newsletter to life and record it and celebrate from it. Wow. Because hearing their name is the biggest important piece. Here's the second way you could do that, Vicki. You've seen me do this a couple of times. I've done recognition a variety of ways. I've gone live on Facebook and I say people's names because it's romper room style. I've done it where... Um, you can go on YouTube and you can say, hi, everyone, the newsletter is here. And I want to just say, congratulations. Let me read our recognition. Those at the silver level of sales, let me read these names to you. Now, those at the bronze level of sales from branch to uh, district, when people hear their name or they're together, when you announce it and then you email it, like I do last night on the regional meeting. Every month, second Wednesday, I say the top 10. I do this, I do that. But then after last night, I put the entire regional recognition together in a newsletter. In Canva, you can turn that with music. You can, you can do anything with Canva. She'll teach you that. So, And your newsletter can also be put into a PowerPoint and saved as a movie. Did you know that? No. On PowerPoint. Wow. You just save it as an MPV4, I think it's called. MP4. <clears throat> and that can upload to YouTube. So I love what you're thinking. How do I bring recognition to a bigger light is one thing. Um, and you might make recognition a little gap separately and then just do the hot announcements in your newsletters. There's something about hearing it and then seeing it. People read less than they listen, right? Yeah, well, I'm rethinking the whole thing because it's money that I'm putting in that's not it's not being spent wisely <clears throat> because mm -hmm. it's not reaching people. So but all that you're giving me right now, Jackie, is really good. Yeah, that is a really, really, really good topic, by the way. So I'm glad you're, you're thinking that. And Lori's good at this. So she'll be able to really look at, okay, what really truly do we want? We want more reach. We want people reading it. And how do I really make recognition empowering? Yeah, because- uh, Either in front of a group on your Saturdays. So when you look at your Saturdays, again, as you're creating a structure, how many A's do I have? How many B's? How many C's? That's where you start to decide when do I need more? The more A's you, the goal is to move a C to a B, a B to an A, right? Yes. So, so that, and I used to track every month, how many do I have in each category? Then each quarter, I did a personal check-in really quick. I mean, I had 600 consultants, but I did. The new season is here. Do you have a reason, right? I might do a mass phone to the C's because I had so many, so many. But I moved to 95, I had 95 um, Bs and I had 50 As. So I was it was like a lot, but but I, I had to communicate different, but I would just invite them. Every season, new season is a reason for change. That was Doug Firebaugh. He taught me that it was six months back then. now it's 90 days. But it's it's, you know, has your life changed? Have you has your income needs changed? Um, do you need more community? Do, would you like to see more out of your business? If so, give me a call back. To my bees, I would say, okay, it's a new season. It's a new reason. Is it time to have income two ways? If it is, text me back. I'm doing future um, team leader interviews this week to see if it's your time. 
and if it fits and explain what that means. So every 90 days when the season changed, so did their life and I gave them the opportunity. They knew I had three different teams. So how do you see yourself? How do I best serve you? They don't serve me, I serve them. So with your Saturdays, think of Jaffra. Jaffra takes training Tuesday, right? And they do um, product, personal development, and then they do training from the field, a top seller. So it's business practices, personal development, and product. So when you look at your Saturdays, is there another theme wrapped around it? Right, like our meeting on for the regional has a very strong purpose. You will hear from the top sellers. It's all it's a party fest because my number one priority is parties. Mm -hmm. And then you'll hear from those who sponsor and promote. So it, that's the big share of the month. We pack in a lot of speakers in about 75 minutes, plus everything they need from the company. So strategically as a district. What are our intentions of those Saturdays? Just, and you might have it, I don't know, but is it serving, right, what we need? And are we training, if you think of the seven basics when we started, if you think of the five S's, sell, schedule, go sourcing or sponsor, uh, prospecting, sponsoring and servicing our customers. So those are those five S's. So are we doing those topics separately or are they to be kind of a mini basics each week? What is our best use of our Saturdays, even our newsletters? Just what you're saying. And do we have recognition that aligns to selling and sponsoring? It's not just who's the top. It's giving them challenges to get to the next level. You're 200 away from the, the silver level. You're 200 away from the gold level, right? So many people are doing the 400, 600, 800 in their recognition. One QNC, two QNC, three. Um, and the, the platinum level, 1,000 is Jaffra, free shipping, and four is manager. So they use Jaffra's level as the ultimate, okay? So... When I spoke, I'm just tossing ideas. When I spoke to Lisa Washington yesterday, um, they do everything just green by 19. And they celebrate, just put my notes here. They celebrate 400 and 1,000 only by the 19th of the month. Oh. Yeah, they do everything early bird, no month end. So um, they do for consultants 400 and 1,000. She did not do sponsoring. I said, big mistake. You have to swim with both arms. She goes, oh my gosh. So then she's looking at one or two added to that for sponsoring. Her managers, she has two levels. She has, um, she calls them VIP and elite. Consultant VIP, elite for 1,000. For a manager, managers, personal and team, she does 2,500 is VIP and 5,000 is elite. Wow. And the only sales, and that's her branches by the 19th and it's starting to happen. And then what she does is her big recognition for personal for leaders. Leaders only get recognition if they do 1,000 and two sponsors by the 19th. Wow. But she said it's building and there's, she said they do not do month end. Only the last two months because they were both having personal things in life, but they do not do month end. Mm. So just a thought you, you can do, I like all month, but I do love green by 19. I love when your managers hit maintenance by green by 19. In the region, I do two QNCs and the leaders who do their number of orders, mm -hmm. right? So think of if you want any early bird. These are ideas you and your leaders can toss out. You may do different than your leaders. 
um, and they can listen to this, but it's, this is the time of year we pause and we say, do I have a place every week to support my A consultants? What would that look like? What do we do? Do we do it together? Do we do it separate, right? Then we take a look at my Bs. What days of the month do I at least reach out to my Bs, make sure they stay on track and just follow up for their 50%. Then my Cs, where's my inactive service time and my former service time? So As, Bs, and Cs. Really the Bs and Cs are kicking off the month and following up to make sure they've got what they need for their goals. I love this, Jackie. This is so good. So I'm going to end with the leaders and the clients. It's very simple in this one, but I just, I spent more time explaining a structure. And as a structure, let me summarize when I say a structure or system, this is absolutely mathematical. A structure means I have expectations. It starts with your expectations. Then it, it is, okay, great. Here's what I expect. So me as a leader, I expect every new consultant to go to VIP. If they want more, they start with four as well. Simple mantra. And I tell them that. Everyone in our team, this is truly how I had such incredible success and how I promoted branches almost monthly. It was from new consultants. And that's because of what I'm saying. Bold, honest, and real. Every Because I owe it to them. My job is that every consultant earns welcome to Jeff for $332 of products. And if they want more at the end of the month, they go to VIP or at the end of welcome to Jeffra. And if they want more, they start with four. They decide how fast they want that more with four. They can do it in four days, four weeks, four months. I don't care, but I am here. I am your money coach. I am your business coach. If you talk like that, you will attract people and they will do it. And so you are there to say, how do you see yourself selling? What format of selling works for you? You work in an office. Do you want to take that with you? Um, could you take a basket? Could you take anything? Great. Are you in clubs and organizations? Great. Are you um, a person who does social media? Are you a texter? So you do you have people that want everybody has skin. So who would use your skincare? Go through your departments, get their list of who would use your products. Don't say sell. Who would use your products? Who would love them like you? Is there anyone who would like to be a hostess because they can't afford to buy them? Is there anyone who needs income and would love to maybe have huge consumption like you? So the first new consultant orientation is more important than anything you can imagine. So let's look at what could you do so if you had to have four hundred dollars a month and you would make two hundred dollars is that enough income for you i don't say how much do you want to make because they're like i don't know i say is 200 enough income for you and i'm not talking buy-in if they buy they're going to be over 400 they're going to buy but i have to teach them how to sell 400 and they're like well yeah i work in an office great how about once a month at lunchtime, you do a basket party and every, or after hours and everybody stays and you show them the hot specials of the month and you just do an office party every month. Okay, I could do that, right? But if we don't help them form what or who they would share it with, who would use the products, they are automatically said, I can't, I don't know anybody, I can't sell. Orientation says, let's get a list. I do a launch party for every new consultant just to introduce you and the products to your family and friends. They're quick on Zoom. They're 30 minutes on Saturdays. Great. So let's get the 30 people you're going to invite or let's go onto your Facebook on your phone and let's see how many you can invite. We'll just set this party up right now. So again, opportunities are there. She can text the Zoom link. That new consultant is the most important human in your business. So when she gets off to a strong start, think about it. She's now got over $200 of free products, or sorry, $500 of free products with VIP. 
And if she wants more income, it starts with four. If she wants more than 200, she's like, no, I need 200 a week. Okay, I need 200 a day. Okay, are you willing to work? Let's find your structure of selling and who you could build your team with. My job is money. So tell me what you're willing to work and how much you want to make and how you would do it your way. New QNCs go to VIPs and you got a potential future leader. Consistency is who a leader is. So when they win a prize, when they make a little bit, they want more. So if we if they just say, I want to I wanna buy wholesale, I don't want to sell. Okay, I get that. And you can have that the rest of your life, but I will not leave over $500 on the table. I owe it to you and you can find a way. And let's just brainstorm and see if we could find a way. What if we could? And again, you're going to make about $800 along the way. Would that be okay? You can go shopping and replace everything in your house for free. So if I could say the most important structure so you have new consultant orientation. That's the training. You have coaching. Coaching might just be checking in, making their monthly plan. It doesn't have to be weekly, but I would with new consultants. They have a ton of questions. I don't have time to call people all the time. I just have a place every Tuesday to meet, to ask questions, to get you set up for the week, to review how to order, all the things that happen when you're new. Super simple, 30 minutes every Tuesday, done. That's training. That's coaching. Then there's recognition, right? So we know there's VIP, welcome to Jaffra. Make your newsletter, have welcome to Jaffra on trackers. You've got reports now, VIPs or almost VIPs. So use those reports as a key format to your recognition. So, um, and then again, it's just your follow-up structure. So expectations, training, coaching, communication and recognition with A, Bs, and Cs are structures. Bs and Cs don't need too much and they don't want too much, so don't over barrel them. So As and Bs will be in your Facebook group, um, you know, not so much the others. So let me go to the next two buckets so we can wrap it up. In leaders, it's the same, but you have to ask them where they're at with their business goals right now. What do they want from the business? What kind of commission check would help their family or their income needs or their giving needs if they don't need the income? Everybody has a need for income. What, what is it this season, the next three months that you most want from this business? What kind of a leader check do you want? What kind of commission with your sales? And how? what is your plan to get there? Leaders have three categories too accelerators are those who want to grow a district. They want to help people become leaders. They're developers. Bs and, and the goal of an A is to, you have to have an expectation. The goal is they're promoting a new group every 90 days, which Jaffer University trains you to do. If you just apply what we train to, you'll, you'll do that. So again, the goal of an A is to get to 10 VIPs. The goal of an A should never be to be below two QNCs a month, never. And the ultimate is to get to five total every month in your branch, like we were taught all through the 80s. Five grows the district, 10 accelerates. Trust me, I used the recipe and holy crap, it worked. So that's two direct and three indirect every month in your district or in your branch. That's the quarterly bonus. It's $500 and watch your income grow. It'll grow to about 75 grand a year if you do this every single solitary month and promote groups out of it. If you do two plus three, you will be promoting one to two branches every quarter. Don't make it more complicated. So your accelerators, again, are future directors or directors going to ambassador. They need coaching every week. They, we want to figure out the gaps in training they need and direct them to Dana and Neil, to um, Jaffra units, to JVU, to anything that the region or company has. So coaching is there. Definitely, we need recognition for leaders. 
strive to levels. I always believe in three levels, like the basic, essential, and royal set. That is um, going like Lisa and Cherie do. They have a two $2,500 a month and a $5,000 a month. That's by the 19th. So if you strive to a $3,000 branch, $4,000 branch, $5,000 branch. Goal is have recognition strive twos for sales and sponsoring and a big deal when they promote. So that's the A's, training, coaching, communicate every week and recognition. B's are builders. Yeah, I wanna build my business. What does that mean? They will be ones who wanna grow their sales with their team, maybe add some consultants and VIPs, but they're not at an accelerated pace to achieve a title goal, an income goal, something by National Conference, San Francisco. That's the A's. B's, they want to grow. So each month we look at reports, what they do in January of 2019. So here was last year, what do you want this year? What are your plans for growth? Is it 10%, 20%? What kind of paycheck are you writing for yourself? They want to build. They'll probably build some consultants. They'll build their sales. Great. I work with them once a month, not weekly. Um, I, I get their goals with them. I help them. And I follow up, you know, mid-month or end of the month. And I love Green by 19. So don't need a lot of coaching, but we track, we measure, we celebrate each week. Then we have the C's, they're content. They don't care, they're gonna maintain the goal, green by 19. Stop the month end stuff because they're always at risk. And could they sponsor at least quarterly? Because if they don't, they're gonna go down. No sponsoring is no business. And that's what they're choosing. So to me, at least a sponsor once a quarter for the C's and getting maintenance early for the B's, again, having at least one sponsor a month and the A's never less than two and developing others to do the same. That's a structure for leaders. You need recognition, coaching, communication aligned to those expectations. Not much, but really your A's are where your time go. And again, in the C category is also former leaders just like in the C category for consultants. We look at formers and we look at kind of the close to maintenance ones. So, or maybe they're not even low dollar, but they just, they're content. That's okay. I don't care. But how can I help you? What do you need? Then when you go to clients, for all of you with clients, there's A's, B's, and C's. The accelerators order every month, right? The B's order probably once a quarter. The C's maybe once a year or sporadically here and there. You serve them just a little different. So do you do mailings to the C's? Not sure, you ask them. Don't assume, ask, how may I serve you? Here's what I do. Um, I have three types of service for my clients, but I don't know which category to put you in. So my A's are like my gold consultants. They get gold service. Think of the airlines, right? I get many benefits once I get to gold and diamond and platinum level. At silver, I don't get much, right? But I'm, I'm doing this often enough. So the goal is that I, I know with my clients the same thing. My accelerators, you know what? They get one item at half price with every $64 in orders. Or they, like Helen does, they get you know something free with the open house at the end of the year. So accelerators have perks and benefits. Maybe you do a $10 coupon on that $64 order, or they get something half price. People go, how do I do that? You just Venmo them the money. Yeah. So, let them do their website, order on the website. Don't start taking orders. Let them order off your website and Venmo them the $5 that you promised them on a $10 coupon. Don't start getting into the mailing orders. It's too expensive. You'll never save money. You wanna do free shipping on orders for your A people? 
because they when they hit you know two hundred dollars in sales, they get free shipping on all their orders. Then go ahead and Venmo them. The mailing system is super costly. Stamps add up everything. Do everything. I, I love Venmo. Just do Venmo. I love Venmo. Love so it. So five bucks on their account. Five bucks on their account. That's yeah. how they pay you anyway. That's right. Right. So That's, keep yeah. things very, very simple. You're not working more. You can still do discounts, coupons, thank you gifts. I love mailing products if they're an eye pencil. But again, I buy bags. I pay for it. It's getting spendy. So instead, do one new item you've never used at half price. Rather than buy it and mail it. Right? So then just give them the money back or off the amount they owe you. So it, it's just too expensive otherwise. So think of how you serve them, again, with your customers. My favorite thing that I did every month, all my life, is when it was birthday month for my clients, I did a call, a phone tree. I sang happy birthday. The first five days of the month, um, I would call and sing happy birthday. And during their birthday month for clients, they got 25% um, off anything that they wanted. Actually, today, I'd probably do 30. Um, you'll see why. I'm a sponsoring fanatic. So you get anything you want, 30% on any order all month long. When you host a party on Zoom or on Facebook, you will get 50% off your order. And then it's a new year. Are you ready for a new you with more income, hope, and opportunity and community? Why not start your own Jaffra store and be the boss? Uno, dos, tres. I did all three If I, and I had 1,252 clients when I quit. I literally had a calendar. I never did dates. I just had everything in my computer January birthday. The minute I had a new client, she went into the January calendar. I had everybody's birthday and I would call and I would do this to all customers. I don't know what day it was. I had no idea. I don't care. And so I would do this voice message, recorded phone tree to all my customers. Now today on Facebook, don't write to someone happy birthday. Type in your Facebook thing happy birthday, here's the birthday coupon, and text them one of Lori's $10 off coupons. Start getting a free facial consultation for the new face of the new you. Happy birthday, $10 off your first skincare product. Start to be super smart at getting expansion from people already in your business, right? And then have three equal something free. I always gave a royal jelly gift when you gave me three referrals. And they became a client, consultant, or hostess. So every call ended with, do you know anyone? Three is free. And I didn't give royal jelly, you know, back then it was milk foam. But, you know, some royal jelly product, whatever you want. It could be lipstick now today. It's more affordable. So three is free is a ring. I have to have rhymes and reasons or I forget. I have three services and three is free. So I will ask you at the close of every order, Vicki, about my services and think about three people next time you order. So guess what? I trained their brain. And if they want to get on my order versus a website, I order every Friday at noon. If you call me before I call you, shipping's free. So wow. see my rhythm, see my rhymes, okay? So that is a structure. When I say structure, how do I recognize my clients? How do I serve them? You can see the difference. In the anniversary, I had over 650 consultants. On the anniversary month, guess what? Every consultant, which is on your reports, their start date, had a January calendar. I knew everybody who joined in January, everybody who joined in February, everybody who joined blah, blah, blah. I knew my leaders, whatever. I think I had 40, 42 when I quit or whatever. So I did, I had the months of their promotion, like I do now. It was in my newsletter last night. I have my leader's birthdays and I have my leader's anniversary. But guess what? I did phone calls. Anniversary month, same thing. I sang happy anniversary to you 
I'm so grateful to have you in our family. Thank you for all your support. But a new year could be a new you. Is it time for you to take a look at what this business could bring you in your new year? New income, new options, a new job, a new way to have fun, choices safe from home, new community. We got the training. We got more income than we've ever seen. I invite you in your new year. Call me. I'm doing uh, interview sessions or information sessions on Thursday and Friday this week if you'd like to know more. So my anniversary call always had a place two days later to tell them more. Text me, message me. My birthday calls two days later, I had an opportunity session and a birthday party myself for them. Join me at a birthday party. I do a monthly birthday party for my clients. I do a monthly anniversary session for my consultants. Always two days later after my birthday or anniversary call. So again, even my anniversary consultants, my C consultants were hostesses for me. So I would say, you know what? If you would like a way to learn how to shop and learn the product skin, why don't you have a birthday party for yourself? You be the hostess. You bring people. If you don't want to sell them, I do, but you can then place your order. You've got people placing orders with you and you're at 50%. So I invite them to have a birthday party. Um, I invite them to have an anniversary celebration and get reacquainted to the Jaffer products so they have their ma the master book. Because what I offered consultants was during their anniversary month, I would mail them by request this book and they could come do a book look session with me and even invite their family and friends. And they could take a master book and I would go through every product they would buy the whole year formulas for their husband, colors for themselves, fragrances paired to their family. So I always offered a one-time, once-a-year book look because most don't know the products. So I know I put a lot in here, but these are systems to start a new year. How do I serve my customers? There's A's, B's, and C's. What services make them shop with me? I don't want them at a store. They only get a receipt at a store. They get me. So I want a birthday. They get special open houses at my home. Um, maybe it's an order size, get something free or discounted. Referrals, three is free. Um, you know, book with me, blah, blah, blah. So you have to have structures of training, coaching, communication, and recognition, clients, consultants, and leaders. And I love celebrating people on their birthdays, their anniversaries. Leaders were the same. Happy anniversary. This is the month you became a leader. Take a deep breath. Is it your time? Now those I called, I didn't do a recording, but is it your time to shine in the new year? And what would that mean? I see great qualities in you. Is it your time in the new year of you? So you can see the parallel but it's so gosh darn fun. Right. So it's been fabulous training. I'm glad I have it all taped. Yeah, there's a lot there. I don't want uh, you yeah. all to do no, it all. I won't. I won't, but I can use pieces. You just did the Saturday, you get, did our Saturday. We got a nice piece there for Saturday. My special yeah. guest is Jackie. <laughs> yeah sorry I couldn't be there last week I was gone no, uh, but I got I got you for this week I got yeah it. and this the reason I went through all of it and I'm sorry it's a lot but at, if you as a district wow get this and your mind's like whoa 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 and you need me to guide you systems run a, a company like a franchise I sold franchises I know what this means so that's what this is about it's that Business isn't more hours. It's a system based on what you want to serve people to grow to. They, like my customers, I never called my customers. They were trained to order by noon on Friday. They'd call at 12.05. Oh my God, did I miss your order? 
right? But they knew my expectations and services. I literally had service flyers for all three. I had a brochure. I made brochures of service. You all had my manual. That's what I did. So, and everything was in there. It was very structured and systematic. So don't feel overwhelmed at the end of the day because I have to go. Don't feel overwhelmed. B, it's a joy. It's so fun to be of service to people. And so find a way. What would make you want to shop with someone? What would make you tell someone else, I love being in this team. Oh my gosh, they have so much there. I love recognition. There's always a place to go for information and training. So again, that's what you're creating is this incredible company of service. But you got to know the purpose to what you're doing, not just do things because you heard about it. And use your reports to watch it grow. I remember when I did monthly recognition mailing, I started it and my branch average was probably about 5,000 wholesale, wholesale, so 10,000 retail. And I knew how many A's, B's and C's I had. And I made recognition to keep bumping it up. And by the time I was done, oh my gosh. I mean, it was 12 hours, one day a month. I paid my kids to come in my office and we had to mail recognition. And it was about 150 pieces every single month. But you know what? It worked. By the time I was done, my central branch in six months was over $15,000 wholesale. Because I started to have recognition to plan around those A, Bs, and Cs. This was all out of the total manager guide of, the 90, of 1993, 4, and 5. And it's all I did. I just applied it. And it works. And then the branches came, I couldn't even stop it. So um, it, it just is fun. But if you ever need me and you're brainstorming one bucket, okay, I will be there to coach you all. Okay. I'll listen to your ideas. These are old ideas. Take new ways because there's super cool ways you can do things today. So um, just like you were doing with your newsletter, Vicki, brilliant to think of how do I make it more effective? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Thank you, Jackie. I'm always doing it too. I'm just like all of you. Trust me, I'll take half your ideas. So I do the same thing you do. So, all right. I have got to go. I'm on my.